Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. India's Prime Minister is in the UAE, his last big bank foreign visit before the general election. He's addressing the diaspora in an event called Elan Modi. He's held talks with the top Emirati leadership and tomorrow he'll inaugurate the biggest Hindu temple in West Asia. It's a visit laden with symbolism and substance. We'll get to the highlights. Back in India, the farmers are protesting again. They have a long list of demands, including asking India to exit the World Trade Organization and scrap all trade deals. To be fair, it's a tall ask. We'll break down the issues and the politics for you. In Pakistan, Bilawal Bhutto says he doesn't want to be part of the government. Where does that leave Nawaz Sharif? We'll tell you. In the US, Kamala Harris says if Biden steps down, she's ready to lead. But is America ready for her to lead? In Indonesia, we focus on Prabowo Subianto, the man tipped to win tomorrow's election. Why is he controversial and what makes him the frontrunner? In Europe, leaders are telling people to prepare for war, thanks to Donald Trump. In Africa's Malawi, they'll allow visa-free travel from 79 countries. Also discussing what is AI sovereignty, how big is the global pet food industry, and why do women around the world still pay the motherhood penalty? All this and more coming up, the headlines first. Armenia says at least four soldiers killed in a border clash with Azerbaijan. Russia urges restraint. This incident comes just days after the re-election of Azerbaijan's president, Ilham Aliyev. Yerevan and Baku have fought two wars over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. Last September, Azerbaijan recaptured it in an offensive. Russia declares Estonian prime minister as wanted for destroying Soviet-era war memorials after Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania demolished some of those monuments, leading to outrage in Moscow. Israel's spy chief travels to Cairo for Gaza truce talks. He will meet his Egyptian and American counterparts. Qatari Prime Minister, who brokered the previous ceasefire, will also be present. There is increasing global pressure on Israel to agree to a ceasefire with Hamas. Jailed former Thai Prime Minister Thakshin Shinawa to be freed. He could be released as soon as this weekend. Last year, Thaksin was jailed after he returned to Thailand in August. He was sentenced to eight years for graft. The Thai king reduced the sentence to one year. Senegal suspends mobile internet services for the second time this month, also bans a protest march over delay in the presidential poll. Recently, President Macky Sall postponed the election to December. And since the announcement, there have been violent protests in the West African nation. And Bitcoin breaks the $50,000 mark for the first time since 2021. In recent months, the cryptocurrency has enjoyed a strong run as investors expect broader trading approval. But the currency remains well below its record value of almost $69,000 in 2020.